welcome to Acrylic Code. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create this animation with Touch Designer. Before we move on, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to get notified every time we upload a new tutorial. To create this design, we used a tool called Tweener, created by Amazing Robots. This is the website where you can read all about it. The link for this is going to be in the description box. Here is all the information you need as well as an introductory video explaining everything. For now, let's go ahead and download the Tweener Touch Designer file, select Save File and click on OK. Next, we're going to open a new Touch Designer file and the first thing we're going to do is drag and drop the Tox file into our project. I'm going to split the screen next and set the second screen to Top Viewer. Let's go ahead and create an outtop and turn the render flag on. Right click on the left screen, go to display and unselect the backdrop tops. We're going to start with a rendering setup and then we'll move on to the animation. So let's press tab and create a box sop. Copy paste right below and we right click on the out of one of the boxes and attach a geometry. Right click on the out of the second box and attach an old sop. I'm going to color the null node red and rename it to pause for position. This will serve as a position for the instancing we're going to do later. Down below let's press tab and add a noise top. Right click on its out and attach a null top. Let's rename it to scale and I'm going to also put the color to red. This will be useful for the scaling of the instances later. Great, now the next step is to go to the box and change the divisions in the parameter window. To do this we first check this box on the left and then we set the divisions to 15 on all three parameters. This will give us 16 boxes on each of the axes making up a total of 4096. More on this later. Now let's go to the geometry node and in the parameter window we go to instance, turn the instancing on and in the translate op parameter we drop the position node. For translate x we set p0, translate y we set p1 and translate z we set p2. Back to our network, let's press tab and while holding shift we're going to create a camera comp and a light comp. Let's press tab again and we're going to add a render top. Once this is done, connect the render top to the out. This will have our box displayed in the right screen. Let's go to the box 2 node and in the parameter window we'll set the scale parameter to 0.06. Let's right click on the connecting line right before the out and we'll attach a transform to get a black background. Set the alpha parameter to 1 and turn on comp over background color. Go to the camera comp next and on the parameter window we'll go to view and we'll set the projection to perspective to ortho blend. This will enable the projection blend parameter below which can be used to blend between perspectives. Ok, now we can go to the camera node and scroll until we find a good position for our camera. To improve the view I'm going to copy the lights and move the new lights to a better angle. Now for the instancing we need the number of pixels in the noise to correspond to the number of samples in the position sop. And if you remember, we set the number of divisions earlier to 16 times 16 times 16, which makes 4096, which is also the same as 64 by 64. And for this reason, we'll set the resolution of the noise to 64 by 64. Now let's click back on the geo and in the instancing tab, we'll drag and drop the scale node to the scale parameter of the instancing. We'll set scale X to R, scale Y to G and scale Z to B. This will give us this noisy shaped box made out of smaller boxes. Great, now that we're done with this, we'll start with the animation part. For this, I'll press tab and add a text dot. We're going to split the right screen top to bottom and we'll set the bottom screen to text board and dot mode. Drag the text dot, drop it onto the text board and select open dot. Now before we move on with the text here, I'll go back to the camera, set the projection to orthographic and set the ortho width to 3.61. Now I'll go back to the text board and so that I don't bother you with the typing, I'll only paste here the command lines and I will also paste the text in the description box in case you want to use it and then I will only explain what everything is doing. Ok, so every line here is setting the initial value for each of these parameters of the box, noise and camera. A little correction, in the camera the projection needs to be set back to perspective to ortho blend so that we can blend between these two states. So now back to the text part. With op here we're referencing the operator, so for example in this case is the box 1. With a par, we're referencing a parameter of the specific operator and in this case the name of the parameter is ty. 
which we can also see here in the parameter window. So what we're doing with this first command is we're setting the initial value to 2.5. So if we execute what we have here, then the box will be somewhere up here to where 2.5 is. Whereas if I put the value back to zero and execute again, then the box would go back to the initial position. And the same thing is happening with all these other commands. They're just telling the animation where to start. Now I'm going to add the next command. In here, we're again starting by accessing an operator, which in this case, it's the custom operator that we downloaded from Amazing Robots. And then we say two, and then the operator we want to move, which in this case is box one. Then comes the parameter we want to change and the value we want it to have by the end of the animation. So the ty parameter will start out from 2.5 and then go to zero. Then we set here the value of the duration we want the box to move from the first frame to the end frame. And at last, we set the effect of the movement. Now I'm going to execute this and we will see that the effect of the box bouncing once it hits the end value is caused by this last parameter here. Great, now on to the next command. With this one, we're going to animate the period of the noise in the same way we did with the box. So the period is going to start at 35 and by the end is going to go to 0.2. In here, we have an extra parameter, the delay. And this sets the beginning time of this command. Let's see, I'm going to press command R to execute and we see here that the animation starts and then everything in the script except for the last line gets executed. And then 1.5 seconds after, the last line also gets it's executed. So this is how this works. Now afterwards I want the box to explode. So for this I'll paste the next line with which we're going to change the size of the box. So we're accessing the box again and we're setting the end values for size X, size Y and size Z. We're setting the duration, the effect and the delay. So let's execute to see what we have until now. Great, now I want to add some rotation on the box, so I'll paste here the next command. In here, we're rotating the box by 40 in the y direction. The beginning value of this parameter is set to 0, as we can also see here in the parameter window. With the next line, we're going to access the projection blend parameter of the camera, which will start from 0 and go to 1, to give us this animation right here. Now with the next two lines, we're going to reverse back the effects that we achieved with the last two lines. So first, we're going to rotate the box back to a value of zero, which is what we had as an initial value. And we're going to have the projection blend go back to the first mode. The delays here are also there to stack the commands one after the other as we saw before, so that we don't have the whole animation play out at the same time and make a mess. With the next line, we're going to change the value of the ortho width parameter so that our shapes get zoomed out. And for the last effect, we want the box to move out of the frame again. So we'll have the same line as in the beginning, only with a different value and a delay. And that was it. Now we can execute and as easy as that, we have our animation. I'm going to leave all the information below in the description as well as the script for the text port. So you can copy paste the lines into your own project and choose a song you like and tweak the animation and the delays to make something fun. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed watching and subscribe to the channel to support us. And I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye!